Meteorites. What about meteorites? Well, we use metal detectors and we hunt coins, we hunt relics, we hunt gold. Why not meteorites? And we do hunt meteorites. Out here in the Arizona desert, the uh, ground is often no more than the bedrock and with very little dirt on top in some places. But it's also ideal for preserving meteorites because there's lack of moisture, doesn't allow decomposition as fast. And they'll just be laying out on top of the dirt in the desert. And learning to recognize them can be the difference between finding one and not finding one. I was out in this little area and I think it was 2005 or 2006. I'll have to look when I get home and look up the information. And uh, I was hunting gold with a good friend of mine, Jim. And I walked over the hill over here and I came down the hill over to this little area here and I got a screaming signal on my metal detector. I think I was using a Fisher Gold Bug too then. And I looked down and I had just learned about meteorite hunting from another friend of mine by the name of John B. And uh, to skip back a little bit, in the early years, in the early 90s and late 80s, those times, we used to hunt a lot at Gold Base in Arizona. And there was these cursed hot rocks everywhere. Brown hot rocks. They just scream on a metal detector. And I'd already been telling people that they needed to learn what they were looking at out in the desert. And if you couldn't find a rock, take it home and identify it. La da la da la da. Well, I wasn't doing that. I was throwing these things away. We all were. We were putting them in bushes. We were throwing them as far away as we could, dropping them back in the hole. Um, well, not long after that, in the late 90s, it might have been, mid 90s, John B. and some other people um, and some folks from the Arizona State University identified those hot rocks as a meteorite, and it's now called the Gold Basin Chondrite. And we had been throwing them away for all those years, and we should have been collecting them for all those years because they're meteorites. Here, I had walked over the hill, and I had just learned about meteorites, as I said. I walked over the hill over here, and I got a signal, and I looked down, and it looked like a meteorite. There was a piece about this big, and it ended up weighing 480 grams, I believe it was, the main mass, somewhere around there. Again, I'll, I'll look up the info when I get home and add it to this. And I picked it up and looked at it, and I called Jim, and I said, hey, man, I think I got a big meteorite over here. And he goes, what? I said, yeah, a meteorite. He goes, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, it sure looks like one. So we took it up to the truck, and there's some ways to identify it, and we turned it over to a spot where it had been broken. And I took a matchbook because we didn't have a file, and I sanded on it a little bit and wiped it off on my pants and sanded it a little more. And sure enough, little flecks of metal started showing through. And I was pretty sure at that point it was a meteorite. So I got a hold of my friend, John, and uh, showed him what I had. And it ended up going to Arizona State University where they identified it. And it was classified. And it was named Trilby Wash. I picked the name. And my name is on that as the finder. And this is what Trilby Wash looked like. Okay. It's really nothing spectacular when you see it on the ground. But when you cut it open, you can start seeing... I don't know if you can actually see the metal reflected as I move it around here. You probably can. But those are little flecks of metal inside there. It's nickel iron. And... When you find a rock with that inside, it's a pretty sure deal. You got yourself a meteorite. Okay, this one was orange inside, and that's due to how long it laid on the earth, I believe. And nobody really answered that question for me. But it's kind of a pretty thing. And it ended up being worth somewhere in the neighborhood of $16 a gram when it first came out. And right now the main mass is a collector has purchased from me. And I have these pieces here. That's something to remember it by. But today, we're going to walk over here to where I got that meteorite. And I'm going to show you what they sound like on a metal detector. And I'm going to see if I can't find another little piece laying over here.
Well, this is where Metrobe Wash Meteorite came from. The ground here is a uh, granitic type of bedrock with other intrusive stuff in it here. And there isn't a lot of dirt on top. I'll give you another look at this, these pieces of meteorite now that the sun's coming up a little better here. It's, uh, you can actually see the metal, I think, in here reflecting. You got the sun behind me so you can see it. That's a slice. And we have the end cut, which actually shows what it looked like laying on the ground, which wasn't much, but it was enough for me to say, hmm, that could be a meteorite. Here's a cut off the end, and again, there's a clasp in here, but you can also see the reflecting of the metal in the piece here. And a reddish brown color. It's a cool meteorite. And here's the ground that we're going to be hunting. See if we can find another little piece of it. You can see we're right on the bedrock here. There's Choya, Jumping Choya, Staghorn Choya, Typical desert. And here's some greenstone. We talk about that a lot. I brought it up, but you can really see this is greenstone. So this, well, it's green. Okay, and look at this pack rat nest over here. Holy Toledo. Like I said, he brings back, I've talked about these guys before. You can see he's got cow poo in there. He's got sticks and a lot of choya. Now you imagine being a coyote or another predator and trying to root him out of there. You got to be awful darn hungry to go after something like that and try to tear it apart. So this is the material we'll be hunting. We're going to be hunting right in this little gulch right here. It's the only place I found any was right here in this little gulch. And a couple pieces up toward the top. But none more in this specific area. And what attracted me to the wash in the first place is I was gold hunting. I saw this metamorphic material. I mean, there's greenstone, there's um, ironstone. I mean, it's everywhere in here. So I thought there might be gold here. I wasn't expecting a meteorite. That's the last darn thing I expected to dig up. But we're going to see if the gold monster can pull another little piece of this meteorite out of here. That would be really cool. So without further ado, I'm going to go to give it a try. All righty, I got these two pieces of meteorite I was showing you on the ground here in the manila envelopes and we got the gold monster with us today and we're set up in auto one we're going to try it on that first okay and the signal if you notice the uh, on the bar here all to the left you know, because it's nickel iron Okay, and we're going to switch it back here. It's a little hotter right here, I think, as far as uh, sensitivity. Get it ground balanced. I've showed you how to do this. you got to move it around. This uh, granite bedrock is pretty benign, but there is uh, a lot of hot rocks in here, if I remember right. Good solid hit. Okay. And I just turned this thing on, and right about here, we got something going on. Move a little bit. May just be a little piece of meteorite in here, or a piece of trash. Let's see if we can't get it out of here while I'm holding the darn camera. Now I got my ring on again too. Yippee yay okay. I always forget that. Okay, a little bit of dirt here. Nothing there. A bit more. Nothing there. Let's check the hole again. It's right in there. Right, right there. All right. Still 
still don't have it. Right there. All right, we got it in the scoop. So, let me pull this thing over here. I'm just gonna dump the dirt on the scoop. Okay, not in that batch. All right, I think it's this piece of crap right here. Nope. Let's move it around. Well, according to that beef, it was on there. This is really tough trying to hold the darn camera and do this. I know better, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, it was that little piece of metal. So it was a piece of trash. There's my hole up. But anyway, I'm going to hunt here for a little bit. See if I can find a little chunk of that. If not, I may go over the hill and hunt for gold for a while. I even brought the Equinox today, so... There's an old stage stop on the way back. I might stop and if anybody's home, get permission to hunt for a little bit. Anyway, right now it's about meteorites. Here we go. Well, hunted here for a bit and unbelievable how many bullets and BBs are in here now. Last time I was in here, we hammered this pretty good and got most of the crap out of the ground. Unbelievable how much trash was us human beings put in the, the desert, shooting and whatever else. So I guess uh, no more meteorite for today anyway. I'm going to head over the hill here and maybe do a little nugget hunting since I'm here anyway. So anyway, on the meteorite section of this uh, morning's hunt, nugget shooter out. <laughs>